Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven, and in today's video, I would like to explain to you the difference between uh, a SharePoint admin and a group owner. Uh, here's what I'm talking about. Um, so this is only applicable for situations when you uh, try to make someone uh, an admin uh, of a given uh, SharePoint site. Uh, so I'm right now in the SharePoint Admin Center, and I have this uh, couple of sites right here. One is accounting department sites, and, uh, and that happens to be a communication site. And another is the uh, accounting team site, all right? And that's uh, based on the team site template. And just to, sh to show you, you know, you know, here we go. That's uh, the, this is the site I just referenced. This is a communication site for accounting, and this is a team site uh, for an accounting uh, team. Uh, all right, so uh, what I'm talking about is this. When you try to, let's say I want to add an admin, a new admin to, uh, to this uh, team site, you click the checkbox, click permissions, drop down, and look, you have two options, uh, manage group owners and manage additional admins. What is the difference? Let me explain. Well, look, uh, first, it's very important to understand that this team site right here is not just a regular site. It's not just a regular SharePoint site. It's a site that is part of a Microsoft 365 group. It actually tells us right here, right? You see it says group. What that means is that this site is connected to a Microsoft 365 group and is connected to Teams, Outlook, Calendar. Uh, so it has a distribution list, it has Plan and Planner, and all of this stuff is connected uh, through the same you know, membership uh, through a Microsoft 365 uh, group. So uh, when you choose this option, Manage Group Owners, what uh, essentially happens is that uh, whoever you add here, let's add Mary, for example, Mary will become the owner of the whole group. So Mary will be pretty much the admin of not just the SharePoint site, she will become an admin uh, of Teams uh, and uh, Outlook, essentially all the apps that are connected to Microsoft 365 uh, group. Now, uh, I'm not, so yeah, yeah, you would typically click save. I'm not going to do that. For ex but what if I wanted Mary to be just the admin of the site? I don't want Mary to be the admin of the team. Uh, all right, I want uh, Mary to be the admin just of the site so she can manage uh, the site and uh, security, all that stuff. In this case, you would just, again, click the checkbox, drop down, and choose manage additional admins. And what that means is that it will only make Mary the admin of the SharePoint site. Essentially, she doesn't even need to be a, a member, uh, you know, a group or a member or obviously group owner. Uh, she doesn't need to be uh, anyway in the group. She will just administer the uh, the site, and pretty much uh, that's exactly what I just did. I added Mary, and now she can administer the site. But she, you know, might not even have access to Teams if she's not a regular group member. She doesn't, uh, you know, she doesn't uh, need, even need to see uh, any of that. She will literally just be able to administer the site. Uh, with communication site, it's a little bit simpler because with communication site, right, we don't have the group. It's just a regular SharePoint site with a communication site uh, right here. That's just a regular communication site. There is no group attached. So when you add an admin, you don't get that extra choice. All right, remember we we used to see uh, manage group, uh, or, you know, owners. Uh, we don't get any of that here because why? Because it's just a regular site. So whatever you do here, essentially, right? Um, you know, whoever you adhere, they just become the uh, the admin uh, of that particular site, and that's pretty much it. All right. So uh, that's all I wanted to show you today in this particular video. Hopefully, you learned something new today, and hopefully, this helped clarify some of the questions you had. As always, happy to see you on my blog SharePointMaven.com as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.